Hi, my name is Peter. I'm a founding engineer of Strack, and today I'll be showing you a demo of how to block sensitive data from being sent to third-party websites like ChatGPT or Bard. Let's say you have a careless customer service representative that's working on a ticket involving some customer data. One day, they accidentally copy-paste customer PII like name, date of birth, social security number into ChatGPT instead of a secured internal tool. Now, ChatGPT uh, is programmed to record and learn from all conversations. The customer sensitive data is unintentionally stored with a third party. To mitigate this risk, businesses can implement strict data handling and privacy policies. But in practice, it gets really hard to enforce because you can't be expecting to have a security engineer to be looking over everyone's shoulder all the time. To automate this process, your IT team can distribute Strax Chrome extension to detect and block sensitive data directly from customer's browsing session. Based on a organization's data handling policy and regulatory requirements, administrators are able to configure different data elements to block. We support uh, over 100 data elements today, from financial information, to identity information, to contact information, and more. <clears throat> Once configured, when a user submits a sensitive uh, data, uh, they're going to get a pop-up showing that sensitive data has been detected and it can be blocked. The Strat Chrome extension works not only for ChatGPT, but for any website. And I can show this working for um, Bard, for example. Um, There you go. With the Strack Chrome extension, you're able to uh, block sensitive uh, data from being sent to third party. If you are a organization dealing with sensitive data, it's a must have in your toolkit. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any other question, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer them in the community. And I hope to see you next time.